My name is Gina Oseka Aguirre. I'm the CEO and founder of Fiesta Latina. It's a privilege for me to serve at Community of Bond for the last 20 years. So we started Fuerza Latina in 2003. At the beginning with that, it was going to be a small club, sports club, and uh, it just kept growing. There's a lot of need in the community. Uh, we came to Maple, the time when there was very few services and not enough services or programs for Latinos and specifically for kids that could be providing portable programs. So Fuerza Latina is a not-for-profit organization that assists youth within the community, um, the Latino community, and the rest of our community as well. Um, it's um, an organization that promotes many different facets on betterment and help and guidance. Fuerza Latino is a group that involves the whole Latin community and try to gather everyone trying to find solution to several of their needs, of their problems, try to involve as many as people as possible in order to create one strong group. I believe for Latina, this group of dancing uh, more than oh, eight years now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's wonderful, like, it's been like a four, five um, festival, Latin festival in Bonn. And this is a beautiful group. I met a lot of beautiful women, um, all of us Latino from uh, Colombia, Venezuela, Latino uh, countries. And it's a very beautiful group because not only because we stay uh, active as a physical, but mentally. And uh, it's beautiful because we share our culture, our um, our culture, our dancing, our styles, our laughing. It's complete. I feel very comfortable to belong to this group. So with that, um, we would be able to help our youth in the community through Puerto Latina. I think Puerto Latina is um, by bringing all of the projects and all of uh, the ideas uh, being uh, introduced to the young people. It just gives them the opportunity to find um, a better careers to, you know, also keep the tracks of the world, of a country, and a different country that is that has uh, opened their arms to us. So it's, it's easier and it's nicer to be able to, you know, to keep your language in a different country, to be able to dance your music, to be able to, to meet people, and just to be able to share who you are with other people that aren't, you know, not necessarily people from. Latin countries, from you know, from other countries who happen to love or, or you know, language or story. I grew up in an area um, in Toronto where we always had volleyball every Friday to, to count on, and it was really nice. It meant a lot to me that I had something that I could uh, show my talent in volleyball as well as you know, become friends with the Latino community. On Fridays, since I was uh, in a school that didn't have any Latino. Gina Tuselini is a person who um, joined the community, um, you can say, a friend of us. Um, I think this group is making a difference in including different types of the culture, the Latin culture. So we're not just. Uh, a specific country, we receive everyone, just not Latinas. We receive people of the other countries and make them part of this family. I think Tina is an inspiration as a CEO because I know she was, uh, she fight really hard to include the Latin culture in this Italian part of the city. Um, I think she's doing really good in making the Latin culture um, go there and be a really good part of the community. Nonprofit is challenging because we always depend on somehow funding from sponsors, funding from the government, and it's very, very um, 
part to get approvals, but we are so grateful that we can always count on the sponsors that support us. And once in a while, the, uh, the government also uh, approves things. And lately, we've been growing vastly. So we have five summer students and three staff. And that's been amazing for me because it's been hard working by myself and the volunteers in so many years. So we'll keep growing and we keep overcoming any obstacles that we have in our I can see like the students who were actually in not sure about how to to focus their careers and then once they talked with us and found a, a help in regards to this issue they were able to actually understand where to go so for for people who actually in, need in assistance in in the career in for people that need integration that's where Fuerza Latina has been really strong. They're a very good program for youth empowerment and they have a lot of programs to help the youth out. For example, I joined the youth mentoring program where I was matched with a neurologist who's a doctor specialized in the brain and he happened to be Latin and he gave me a lot of tips on how to apply to medical school and the whole process of how to be a doctor and I found that super helpful. If I had to describe Versa Latina in one word, I would say empowerment just because being in this group has enabled me to connect with my culture and also explore new things and also meet amazing women. I think for me, uh, the Fuerza Latina group is more than, it's like a family. It's full of love, respect. Para mí, Gina es una mujer emprendedora. Es una persona empoderada. Tiene un corazón enorme que ayuda a todas las mujeres hispanas y a toda la gente le tiende una mano. Qué bueno sería el mundo si hubiera muchas personas como él. I love you, Gina. Since we're so far away from our home country, having people speaking the same language as you is actually very important. Well, you know, I've always been proud of our culture, of our I love our food, I love our people, and we have a lot to offer others. It's really important for our community to show what we're all about. We are professionals, we're people very talented, we're warm, we have so much to offer and such rich culture. So when I saw that in Bronx, there was no festival happening. I thought this is the perfect timing to be the founder of the Bonlet Festival, to bring people together, to enjoy our culture and to embrace together our differences and our different multicultural in one place, the Bonlet Festival. And I also joined the Job Be Ready program, which is for any youth in Bonn who want to join and it was it was a bunch of like weekly zoom sessions with uh, this girl who was specialized in like job applications resumes cover letters interview tips like everything with the job field and that helped me a lot because i want to get more into the job field and do more volunteering and different jobs and roles in the community so I learned a lot of tips because at first I did not know at all how to make a resume or a cover letter I, I didn't know very well what to do and she like broke it down step by step I'm proud to say that we have a Latin Excellence Award it started in 2016 and um, it came with the idea that we needed to reward the youth, you know, because sometimes we don't acknowledge those little steps that they make. So as we kept growing with that, why not acknowledge their graduation when they become, you know, when they finish their um, university or college degrees? Let's acknowledge them. With that, why not let the government know who they are? So. What happens is on the Latin Excellence Awards, we get a scroll from the federal government acknowledging that um, our students or uh, the youth or whoever graduated for that year 
we honor them at our Latin Excellence Award. We also honor our community leaders that have made a contribution to our community, to our society, and uh, we're so proud to have the Latin uh, members to join this beautiful event. My name is Gina Oseca Aguirre. I'm the CEO and founder of Puerto Latino.